Give you a quick update here. Right down there is our 16 horsepower Briggs engine that was on the motor, or on the mud motor. And there's the new 27 horsepower Kohler that's going on. A couple of things I have to work through. First off, this coupler here that was on that motor down there is a 7 8 inch coupler. That's a one and an eighth inch shaft, or yeah, one and an eighth, 1.125. So I had to order a new coupler. Actually, I got uh, both end yokes and a U joint off of eBay for like 38 bucks delivered. So I got that coming. Uh, should be here early next week. Next issue we have the bolt pattern for the motor. Motor here, you can see the openings for the old motor. The new one lines up about out here and then just hangs over the end. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll probably have to weld on, uh, I guess, maybe a one, one and a quarter inch piece of bar stock across the front here to uh, extend the plate so then I can drill new holes for it. And then the holes back here, the holes actually line up, but the holes I need need to be down here instead of up here. So this is just holding the back end in, so I don't necessarily need a complete hole. And what I'm going to do is probably do it the easy cheating way. I'm just going to take the grinder and grind a notch at the bottom of each of these to line that up. And then the last thing that's going to be the fun part, and I'm going to do this before we do any grinding or cutting of new holes or welding of stuff on, is trying to get the angle lined up here. Because we have the, this is a fixed angle here, and then it has to go out this way. So the Shaft here is, I believe, one, one, one and an eighth inch, one and a quarter inch taller than the shaft on this guy. I have measurements on the phone where I put the tape measure up, measure it up the center, so I'd be able to ver review it again. So I'll verify that. And I'll probably just put some notes on the bottom of the phone or bottom of the video of what the difference is. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna compensate for that different angle. I may have to pitch the motor a little bit on the mounting plate here. Instead of doing it flat like this, I may have to lift the front edge up here a quarter inch to a half inch to be able to get the shaft angles where I need them. Uh, that's about all I got back here. Uh, oh, you can also see I fiberglassed in where I took out some chunks with the motor because when it turns, the plate up here comes down I was hitting the wood. I was going to put some metal on, but I don't have the ability to do uh, grinding and stuff out the storage unit, and I couldn't get it home to cut the measure and cut the metal, so I said, decided I'd just put about five layers of uh, glass on there, and that should hold up. As for the blind, you saw before we had the whole side here done. And what we are working on now is we are working across the bow. So I got the grass pretty much fed in all the way across. I just got to start doing some zip tying. Uh, work on the boat really slowed down when I went back to real work and uh, had some other projects going on for a banquet for my club where I was real busy with that right at the end of my uh, disability time. So I'm hoping to get this grass in across the front here. By the end of this weekend, everything's zip tied in and maybe the back side of it. And then next week is a uh, closed season for us here. The seasons, we have a split season, so it closes down for uh, five days. I'm hoping to be able to get the new engine mounted onto the mud motor frame and everything tied in. And then, like I said, have the side here, the front here glassed, or not glassed, grassed, and then the stern grassed across. And then the back side of the blind, I'll worry about that and just do that piece by piece throughout the season. Uh, all I got for now. Let you know when I get some more. I'll try to get some videos when I have it out and using it for hunting. I'll put the GoPro up on the gun or something. Later.